Hello, my name is Shamis. This is in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make objects visible and invisible. For this exercise, we are going to make some text, add some text. I'm going to right click, select insert object, and this object is going to be a text object. And I'm just going to call it my message. I'm going to call it txt my message. Then I will click insert and apply the message here. Now I'm going to go to the properties panel with the message with the text box selected. I'm just going to increase the size. In fact, I'm just going to leave the size smaller so you can see what's happening if I increase the font size. With the text box selected, I'm just going to increase the font size to, let's say, for instance, 60. And what will happen? The text disappears. So what you will need to do in this case, you need to click and drag to increase the size of the text box. Now I'm going to go here and for the text value, I'm just going to say hello world. So by default, let's, you can also actually customize the settings even further. You can uh, change the font color. Scroll down. Okay. You can change the font size. You can also change the font style. Click OK. OK. Once you're happy with this, what you will need to do also on the Properties panel, you need to locate the section which says Visibility. So what we need to do is go to the Properties panel and select the Initial Visible. Let's uncheck this option. Now, this means that when the game starts, this text will be invisible. So I need something to actually trigger this text to make this text a bit basically visible. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click here, I'm going to insert a new object, and this object I'm going to insert is going to be a sprite object. I'm going to click insert, I'm going to click here once, and I'm just going to put here a little box. I'm going to crop it, exit, and let's put this here. So when the player basically collides with this box here, then I'm gonna I want to make this text visible. So to do this, I need to make sure that this object as well has a clear name. So with this object selected, I'm just gonna go here on the properties panel and I'm gonna I'm gonna call this object SPR for sprite uh, show message and press the enter key on my keyboard. I'm now going to select the event sheet and I'm going to add a new event. I'm going to select the player and I'm going to click next. I'm going to click on on collision with another object and click next. The object I want to collide with is the SPR show message. Click OK. Done. Now, when the player collides with this object, I want an action to take place. I'm going to click on the action here. I'm going to select the text, the TXT, my message, and click Next. Then, I'm going to select Set Visible, click Next. And then, I'm going to make sure that the option here, selected, is visible. Click Done. Now, I'm going to click on the Play button, and by default, the text box is not showing. I'm going to move my player now, and as soon as my player touches this object, the text box becomes visible. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something new today, and I hope you apply these new skills onto your video game. See you in the next video tutorial. Bye.